everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Um, it's nice to have everyone here today, uh, either live or on the replay. I'm just going to check my... Oh, I think I know that my volume works okay, so that's cool. Uh, apologies, I'm a few minutes late today. I um, made the mistake of uh, changing my plan just before coming on live, so I've been grappling with with plan, well not plan B, but with another plan for my uh, live today. And I probably should have stuck with the card I originally had planned, but anyway, so I've uh, yes, been trying to work something out um, here in the craft room in the lead up. Um, good morning, got a couple of early starters. Kathy, good morning. Ayon, Alona and uh, Denise. Good morning, Denise. How are you? Um, anyway, so yes, today I thought, this is the, the plan that I thought was such a good idea when I woke up this morning. I'm going to do a one sheet wonder um, uh, series of cards. So I actually get three cards using a six by six piece of cardstock. So it's obviously the Christmas themed um, cardstock. This is the um, Feels Like Frost, I think it's called, um, cardstock. I've lost the little packet that it came in so I can't actually um, tell you for sure. It's actually in the catalogue. I'll just see if I can find the catalogue and have a look. There you go. So it's in the, the uh, August to December catalogue and it's called Feels Like Frost. Yes, here it is. It's six by six. Um, everything's buffering here so I'm hopefully you can still uh, see me because it's actually um, uh, it's actually buffering. That could be my internet We'll see how we go. Anyway, so it's the um, the the uh, feels like frost six by six designer series paper from the catalog. Anyway, so I'm assuming you can see me, and I can't see any comments to say you can't. So that's fine. All right. So getting a one sheet wonder. Basically, a one sheet wonder is getting as many cards as you can out of one sheet of cardstock. And in this case, as I say, I'm going to get three um, three cards out of this one sheet. Of six by six which is pretty good um, so to cut the cardstock and um, this is all the prep I've pre prepared a lot of the cards already but I'll show you how I cut the cardstock and it pretty much indicates how you do the rest of the cutting as well you're actually going to cut uh, one piece um, off the edge so you're going to cut it at four inches and so the little strip that you have left here will actually be a landscape card and then this remaining piece here, you just cut it, it couldn't be any easier, cut that at three. So you've got two that are uh, four by three, and then you've got this strip here, which is uh, two inches by six. And you just cut this one, this two by six, cut it down to um, five and five eighths long. And that's what you've got. So there you are, and that's all I'm going to do with that. That is your pieces of cardstock for our three different cards. Okay, so the other side is quite a pretty pink, sort of frosty um, feel, which is quite nice, but I'm actually going to be using this silver. So everything I've done this morning is silver. Um, I think I was lacking a little bit of imagination, so it's just gone silver, 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 silver. Okay, so as I say, you get three cards out of this little lot. So the rest of the card, I'll just show you here, over to the side. I've cut three card bases in um, Whisper White and then I've sort of laid it and I'm going to decorate each one slightly differently. So first what I've got here is a my normal size card base, eight and a quarter by five and three quarters, scored in the middle. And this one's going to be our landscape card. So we have our piece of cardstock that we've cut from our one sheet wonder. And then I have a, another sheet, another piece of Whisper White cardstock which I've popped through my, um, my uh, snowflake um, uh, embossing folder, which I've lost. Here it is. The winter snow embossing folder. Apologies if I seem a bit distracted. I'm actually getting some buffering issues on my iPad, so I'm wondering whether we've got um, lots of people working at home at the moment, and I have a feeling the internet is going to suffer. So 
if we have too many troubles I may have to come back um, and do this a bit later on when everyone's finished doing their uni and work stuff okay so I've got a piece of that and that is two and a half inches wide and the same uh, five and five eighths long so it basically just corresponds to the other half of the card from our from our piece of designer series paper I'll pop that up underneath so that I might actually make each of the cards and then we'll come back in and separate uh, and um, and uh, decorate them separately okay so I'm going to glue those down Just bringing that up there. There's the top half of our card. And then our designer series paper on the bottom half. This is uh, day eight of my 12 days of Christmas challenge. I think actually yesterday's video I said it was day eight yesterday, but it was actually only day seven. Um, probably getting, they're all blurring into one a little bit at the moment. So there we are. So that is the the um, landscape card started. I'll bring in the other two as well. The other two pieces of paper, remember we cut, were these ones that were both four by three. So I've got two more card bases here and two more sections of Whisper White that have put that I've put through the. Um, through the uh, embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to do the same with both of these. Pop the designer series paper. So this is, one sheet one is, is a good way of getting, if you have to produce multiple cards, like you're creating cards for a, a gift or for um, multiple family members or, or something like that, it's just you manage to get into a little bit of a, a bit of a, routine with them and um, you can use your equipment your um your paper and your cardstock in a very um, economical way so often when i'm producing cards for orders or for um, charity i'll often do a one sheet wonder so i know that i'm getting the best uh, value for my for my buck so to speak for my dollar I think I was going to pop. Yeah, I don't think it matters too much. This one's going to be a sort of sideways one as well. You could also turn that paper over. I think it's quite sweet with the pink. You could get the pink in there instead of the silver. But I've already popped the glue on, so we'll go with the silver side. Okay, so there are our three basic card bases for our one sheet wonder. There we go. So, so I often find with the six by six paper, I um, sort of cut one card out and then have little bits and pieces left over. I don't find it as user friendly as this as the twelve by twelve. But in this case, we've basically got the whole thing used, which is really, really good. And we've got three cards to start with anyway. Okay, so let's uh, decorate each of these. And this is the part where it got me this morning. I thought, oh, that's easy. I've made three cards. And then you think, oh, well, we haven't actually. You've still got to decorate them, which is, you know, can be the most complicated part. So let's start with our sort of horizontal one here. What I've got and as, as I said, this is basically silver overload here. I've got a strip of silver which is um, three eighths of an inch wide and as long, so five and five eighths of an inch long. I'm going to pop that over the um, the gap between our two cards, and I might use double sided tape for that if I can find it. Here it is. As I say designing these right up to the 
10 o'clock mark. I'm not quite as organised as I usually am, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm going to pop some double-sided tape on the back of that. And then just pop the end off it. The backing, I mean. Bring our card back in. Pop that along the centre. So it just tidies up that little bit of a bit of a gap there between our two papers. Okay, and then what I have is a panel of another panel of silver foil. So um, if you haven't got any silver foil for this, probably best to choose another pattern, another design, and a, a slightly. So that one is two and a half inches square. And this one is two and three eighths inches square. So it's going to sit on top like that. And this is the part that I was struggling with this morning to actually um, decorate. So let's decorate those. I might pop those on together. So I've worked out this morning. I had a moment of panic in the fact that last year, I don't know about you guys, but last year I made so many um, cards with snowflakes on them snowflakes here and die cut snowflakes and snowflake stamps and was basically snowflaked out by the time I got to the end of Christmas and of course I sold all my snowflake stamps um, vowed never to touch another snowflake and I haven't bought any of the new ones which are lovely don't get me wrong but I thought no no more snowflakes and so this morning when I was searching around trying to find a snowflake stamp, which I thought would be perfect for this, do you think I could find one? No, I do not have a snowflake die or a stamp to bless myself with. So basically we've got stars to substitute. So if you can think of, if you see a star, you probably think I actually wanted a snowflake. So I've got the stars. So um, the stars I've used are from the Stitch Stars dies, the same ones that I used um, recently um, for that gift tag, but they're very, very handy. You could use them all year round. I've got this lovely flurry of stars here. And as I mentioned um, a few days ago, when you cut this one out, you also get your bonus, little bonus stars that, that fall out as well. Um, Good morning, Ro oh, good afternoon. Well, good evening, Roz. Thanks for joining me. 7.15 in Florida. Mm. So 7.15 yesterday. So what we said, 7.15 Wednesday. Cool. Just so I get my head around it. So I'm going to pop this little flurry of stars here on the um, top left hand sort of across. I'm going to stamp my sentiment there. So I'll just get that out of the way. I thought I'd just go fairly simple with my sentiment and use the Merry Christmas just plain old Merry Christmas from the Arrange a Wreath uh, stamp set and I'm going to use that for all three of the cards just because I know it's a nice little compact and it's going to go really really nicely down in there so I'm going to do it in what am I going to do it in I'm going to just do it in black I think you could uh, silver emboss it yeah, that would be quite nice. I might silver emboss an, another one in a minute so we've got a chance to compare. So I'm just going to pop our Merry Christmas just down there in the corner. And then I'm going to add our stars slash pretend that they are snowflakes. So it's just going to be over it like that. I just want to put my glue in this sort of central area here. Goes to show, never sell your stamps and um, dies your bundles in um, the heat of the moment because you may want them again. Even if you couldn't stand the look, to look at another snowflake at the time. I'm going to pop that on there. Well, I think this is going to be quite nice anyway. Just a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to bring in... Um, good morning, Sally. I'll bring in some of our bonus snowflakes that we got for free when we cut out this one and pop those.
those around as well. Just as a bit of added bling. You might pop one on the, the card itself as well. Okay, so we'll bring back our card. I'm going to pop it over slightly to the left hand side there just to give it a tiny bit of interest. I'll kind of pop some glue on those outlying bits there so that they stick down. Um, yeah, I'll put this on dimensionals. No, maybe not. So just some glue on the back there and then on that side. I've got to bring it back a bit because I don't want it to overlap too far. It won't stick in its envelope properly. Just pop it on there. Yeah, I quite like that little flurry sort of, you know, sort of sticking up a little bit like that. It's quite, quite interesting. And this little spare star, I might pop him. If you pretend that he's a uh, snowflake, I might pop him up over here. Sorry, if anyone's joined more recently and wonders what I'm talking about, don't have any snowflake stamps or dies this year because I sold them all. So I'm substituting stars this year. There we go. There should be another little one around somewhere, but I think I've dropped it. You can usually get five bonus stars when you cut that. Oh, here he is. Here he is. I'll pop him down here. And you could bring in some bling, some rhinestones as well. If you thought that just wasn't quite enough. But I think that's quite enough. Okay, so there is card number one in my One Sheet Wonder um, uh, series. Here we go. I might, as I said, I might just glue those down at some stage before I finish. Okay, so that's number one. So let's see what we can do with number two and number three. Okay, so we've got this one here with the paper at the top and the card and the, the snowflakes at the bottom. Again, I have another piece of um, silver foil, which I've cut at 3 eighths of an inch wide. I'm gonna get some more. So as I said, the, the, the basis of each card is, um, the basis of each card is fundamentally the same. It's just how you decorate it that uh, takes the, the imagination and the time as I said, I was doing it at last last minute this morning. Good morning, Margie. Oh, you've got the, the grandkiddies today, have you? Wow. Have you got the technology's great. What, have you got them on the technology or you're on the technology? <laughs> or are you minding them on the technology? That would be interesting. Just sit them down via Zoom or something. I'm just going to wipe, I've got a little bit of glue on there, just going to wipe that off. There we are. So that's our strip of silver. And again, I have the two pieces of um, other cardstock, the silver, that's five, uh, two and a half inches um, well, uh, square, and the white. So that's going to pop on there. We'll do that one this way. A little bit different, yeah. I might do this one that way, so it's also a landscape card but slightly different. Okay, so I have um, some more stars for this one, and these are from the um, also from the stitch stars, they're quite cute, they sort of have the sort of the pattern in them. And I've cut a few of those, thought I'd do a bit of arranging. I have done something different for the third one, don't worry, there's not just stars all over the place. So I'm going to, I'll get rid of that again, I'm going to arrange these stars on our white. Don't know how yet, making it up as I go along. <laughs> all of us are on our technology, <laughs> well that's togetherness. So I've got our white there. So what we're going to do with our stars? I thought I'd pop like a big one there. 
I might stamp our sentiment again. Oh, damn. I was going to uh, gold emboss, uh, silver emboss that one. But anyway, maybe number three. Maybe I'll pop. Let's have a look. If we pop our stars all around. And pop our sentiment in the middle. How would that go? Sort of like that. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. So just pop our Merry Christmas sort of in the middle and then our stars all around and again they could be snowflakes probably more appropriate to be snowflakes and the last one just there So there we are that's quite cute if you're into silver if you're not today's not a good day okay and we're going to pop that one on there like that so that's card number two completed So card number two. That's quite cute too. I like that. Okay, now last one. And no stars, I promise. No stars in this one. But we do have some of the beautiful magnolia dies from the... Oh no, sorry, poinsettia dies. Uh, die cuts from the, um, the poinsettia place bundle. So I've got I've cut a mixture of them. I've got some in white and some in silver. So I'm not really sure how we're going to go. We just sort of work it how we go. And this time I am actually going to silver emboss our embellishments, our um, sentiment. So I won't actually bother mounting that just yet. We do have to work out how we're going to put these flowers on though. So I know how to do the sentiment. I'll give them a little bit of a curl. I think I'm tending towards the white Although I probably could have cut them in some sort of really nice red or contrasting color couldn't I that might even be nicer because I think the white on the white's going to be a bit much I wonder how if I didn't bother with the white I just put the white on the silver no. so if I put the silver Together. Let's see how that looks. Like that. It's quite glittery, isn't it? And then I could put my sentiment just down in there. How does that look? Just like that yeah sort of okay doesn't really turn me on there or hang on I have my dies here I'm just might cut myself now that I look at it I might cut myself a nice bright real red or a um, what's the word cherry cobbler flower and see how that looks just to say, you guys can tell me which one you prefer. Okay, so let's do that. We've got the little one. It's only the little one that I can actually use because it's the others are too big. And the two little insert ones there, like that. So I'm just going to cut those with whatever red that I can find here. Let's have a look. Yeah, I have some real red. Would that be? No. I think cherry cobbler would be better. 
that's richer. Where are you? I need some cherry cobbler. Mm, yes, definitely. Okay, so I'm not going to bring my machine in. As you guys who've watched me before realise, everything wobbles around just far too much with the machine on the table. So I'm just doing it over here. So just uh, talk amongst yourselves for a minute just while I do this. Just do one more of the larger one. Give these a little bit of a curl. Yeah, I think red will look best. It's getting a bit silvered out. You know, sometimes you start something and you get sort of like sort of mono vision almost and tunnel vision. Once you start something in, in this silver, it's like, oh, silver, silver, silver. But anyway, as I say, probably shouldn't have swapped my cards mid plan this morning. Anyway, the one I did plan to do today, I'll do tomorrow. So now let's put this together, this little red one. Just like that. I think that's all it needs. I don't think it needs the extra one. We'll bring in our silver. More silver. Pop that on there. You know, and I think it could probably do with some leaves as well. And I think probably I could do the leaves in silver. That might be okay. Just have them coming out there and there. So let's give that a go. So I've got some more silver here. And the dies are somewhere as well. For the leaves. Here they are. So they also have the little um, insert there that you can actually um, you can actually um, cut those veins in them as well. So I'll cut those also. some fingers there we go I have some silver leaves so I'll just give them a bit of a curl not much just a little bit I could bring those in from underneath they might be a bit big How's that? No, goodness me, I'm not doing very well, am I? I might just leave it at the flower. Let's have a look at it. Let's put it together. Go back to my own old routine tomorrow, I think. Okay, so we've got our strip of silver again that I'm going to pop um, on there. Definitely won't be putting this one on YouTube, I don't think. They're very critical over on YouTube. They're likely to... I don't know, troll me or something. Okay, so we'll put that on there. Bring in our square. 
there we are. Use this other one just to balance it out a little bit. I'm just going to stamp our sentiments. Just down here in the corner again. Pop our flower there. How's that going to look? Yeah, I think I definitely like the red. I think the red's definitely an improvement on the silver. Just like that. And I think it actually needs... Where is it? Uh, it needs some leaves. Uh, where is it? There's the stamp set. Where's the stamp set? Where's the stamp set? No, oh, I had it here a second ago. I thought I'm going to stamp some leaves on there, just a small one, which I thought would be quite nice in a green as well. But I can't find the stamp set. Oh well. Anyway, there we go. So we'll just finish that one off. I um, wonder whether maybe that would have been better there. Finish that one off, and then that's card number three. No, oh, where's the stamp set? Oh, me. Forgive me today, guys. I'm obviously not quite with it. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the stamp set. I'm just going to get the small little leaf just to give it some something extra. It's a two-part stamp. Actually, it's probably a good thing to show you. Um, yes, I did forget to emboss my sentiment. <laughs> Forgetting a lot of things, but that's all right. So I'm going to um, pop the leaf with a back, a black background. I'm going to pop it. So there's our flower there. So I've popped one leaf coming off like that so the flower can overlap a little bit it's okay and then bring another one down here that's all right got my mojo back i'm thinking i'm working it working it out now there we go so there to imagine our leaf our flower is going to sit there like that yep no this is good this is good, this is good. And then I'm going to stamp the inside part, which is this little sort of insert stamp here. If I bring that in, oh, I'm going to use um, Old Olive, I think. Yep, Old Olive on that one. Here we are. So it doesn't do it obviously exactly because it's it's not a it's a not a perfect infill, but it just sort of gives it that sort of slight sort of sort of um, almost coloured in look. There we are. I might give that one a bit more of a go up there. There we are. Yeah, that's better. How's that? Oh yeah, that's a lot better. I like that. How's that? That's better. All right, so we'll finish this one off. I'm not going to be sad to see the back of it, to be honest. Yeah, the stamp leaves look good, I think. As I said, you you want the one sheet wonders are great in that you get three cards pretty quickly but then it's a matter of how you're going to uh, to uh, decorate them that's where your imagination can go go wild and probably should have worked it out before I uh, <laughs> before I came live today there we go so there we are that's our third card and I quite like that I like that with the bit of 
hit of colour, not just silver, 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 silver. Excellent. Okay. So as uh, Maggie suggested, I'll pop a little bit of silver bling on the inside of that flower as well. We'll have to get that out. I'll take a picture of that when I'm done. Okay. Cool. So that is card number three of my one sheet wonder it was a wonder I finished it to be honest without just giving up so we've got this one with our beautiful red poinsettia we've got the one with the stars and more stars so lots of stars today where they probably should have been snowflakes but what the hey we've starred anyway Okay, so as I say, with the one sheet cut that the way I described it, as the two um, four by threes and the two by six, you've got the three cards there. And as I say, you could swap it over and have some lovely pink accents coming out of there, or you can use whatever paper you like. But there you are. So we've got three cards out of the one sheet of six by six cardstock, which I suppose was. The, out, the, the the whole meaning of this, um, the whole reason for this video. So anyway, was, we finally got there. Anyway, so thanks for joining me, guys. I sort of uh, thought might have to go and have a couple of cups of coffee, I think. I hope you enjoyed that, watching me stumble around. Um, probably not my finest hour, but anyway, thanks for sticking with me. And um, I will see you all again tomorrow for uh, day... Nine. Nearly there. Thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.